everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning sa araw na ito ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay problem solving involving system of linear equations into variables So, i-apply na po natin si system sa linear equation to variables into real life. Okay, so pwede po tayong gumamit ng tat kahit as, uh, anong method. Pwede elimination method, grabbing method, and substitution methods. Para makuha po natin ang sagot sa ating problem solving. So, proceed na tayo. So, let's have an examples. So, number one. John's school is selling tickets to a fall musical. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold two senior citizen tickets and one student ticket for a total of 16 pesos. The school took in 46 pesos on the second day by selling two senior citizen tickets and four student tickets. What is the price each of one senior citizen ticket and one student ticket? So, sa number 1, ano ba yung hinahanap natin? So, hinahanap natin kung magkano daw ba ang presyo ng isang senior citizen ticket at isang student ticket. So, this time, gagamit po tayo ng system of linear equation into variables. So, ito po ating magiging solutions. So, let x the price for one senior citizen ticket and y the price for one student ticket. Okay, so, sa ating problem, so we have two senior citizen tickets and one student ticket for a total of 16 pesos. So, i-convert po natin siya in two equations. So, ito po magiging equation niya. So, we have 2x plus y equals 16. So, that is our first equation. Then, sa ating uh, problem, Meron ding statement na 46 pesos on the second day by selling two senior citizen tickets and four student tickets. So, i-convert po natin siya into equation. So, ito po ang magiging equation niya. So, we have 2x plus 4y equals 46. So, that will be our second equation. So, dahil meron na tayong dalawang equations, pwede na natin hanapin yung presyo ng bawat ticket. Ayan. Ang ginamit ko ay elimination method. So, dito sa ating system, pwede natin i-cancel si x. Kasi, para silang positive. So, gawin lang natin siyang additive inverse. So, mag-multiply lang tayo ng negative 1 para ma-cancel natin si x. So, dun na lang tayo mag-multiply ng negative 1 sa ating first equation. So, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times y is negative y. And negative 1 times 16 is negative 16. Then, copy the second equation. So, makakancel na natin si x. Kasi negative 2x plus 2x is 0. Then, add natin yung mga natira. So, negative y plus 4y is 3y. Negative 16 plus 46 is equals to 30. And then, tanggalin natin yung katabi ni y na 3. So, divide both sides by 3. So, y equals 30 divided by 3, 10. So, the, uh, so y is equals to 10. And then, uh, dahil nakuha na natin si y, pwede na natin hanapin si x. So, gamitin natin ulit yung first equation na 2x plus y equals 16. So, si y, palitan po natin siya ng 10. Ayan. So, 2x plus 10 equals 16. And then, combine similar terms. So, si 10, ilipat lang po natin siya sa kanan. So, we have 2x equals 16 minus 10. So, 16 minus 10 is equals to 6. So, 2x equals 6. So, 2, so divide both sides by 2. Kasi may katabi si x na 2. Ayan. So, x equals 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. So, the value of x is equals to 3. So, to check your answer, if it is correct, so, pwede nyo siyang um, i-checking. So, palitan nyo lang yung value ng ating x at y at kailangan mag-equal siya. At kailangan para silang true. So, dahil yan naman ay true, 
So, i-ano na natin, i-final answer na natin. So, si X, the price for one senior citizen ticket. So, ang value ng X natin ay 3. And Y, the price for one student ticket. So, ang value ng Y natin ay 10. So, ating sagot, we have 3 pesos, the, the price for one senior citizen ticket. And 10 pesos, the price for one student ticket. So, yan po yung price ng bawat ticket dun sa ating problem. So, ayan. Madali lang po, ba? So, let's have number 2. Brenda and Jose are selling pies for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy blueberry pies and pumpkin pies. Brenda sold one blueberry pie and two pumpkin pies for a total of 40 pesos. Jose sold one blueberry pie and six pumpkin pies for a total of 96 pesos. What is the cost each of one blueberry pie and one pumpkin pie? So, sa ating problem, kailangan nating hanapin kung magkano daw yung presyo or magkano yung halaga ng bawat pie. Si blueberry pie, tsaka si one, uh, tsaka si pumpkin pie. So, ito po ang ating solution. So, let X the cost for one blueberry pie and Y the cost for one pumpkin pie. So, sa ating problem, we have one blueberry pie and two pumpkin pies for a total of 40 pesos. So, i-write natin siya as equation. So, magiging X plus 2Y equals 40. And then, one blueberry pie and six pumpkin pies for a total of 96 pesos. So, magiging x plus 6y equals 96. So, meron na tayong two equations. So, pwede na nating hanapin yung cos ng bawat pi. So, ang ginamit ko po dito ay elimination method. So, kung gusto nating eliminate si x, magmumultiply po tayo ng negative 1. At kung si y naman, magmumultiply po tayo ng negative 3 doon sa ating first equation. Ayan, so bahala po kayo kung saan nyo gustong mag-eliminate, kung anong variable ang gusto nyong eliminate. So, ang in-eliminate ko po dito ay si x. So, magmumultiply po ako ng negative 1 sa ating first equation. So, negative 1 times x is negative x, negative 1 times 2y is negative 2y, and negative 1 times 40 is negative 40. Ayan, so pwede na nating i-cancel si x. Then, add the remaining so, negative 2y plus 6y is equals to 4y. Then, negative 40 plus 96 is equals to 56. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, our answer is y is equals to 14. Kasi 56 divided by 4 is equals to 14. Then, now, solve for x. So, balik tayo sa ating first equation na x plus 2y equals 40. So, si y, palitan lang natin siya ng 14. So, magiging x plus 2 times 14 equals 40. Then, multiply natin si 2 at si 14. So, mayroon tayong 28. So, x plus 28 equals 40. Then, si 28, ilipat natin sa right side. So, x equals 40 minus 28. So, 40 minus 28 is equals to 12. So, our x is equals to 12. So, X is the cost for one blueberry pie and Y is the cost for one pumpkin pie. So, ang magiging value ni blueberry pie ay 12 pesos. Kasi ang value ng ating X ay 12. And then, ang magiging value ng ating, or cost na ating uh, pumpkin pie ay 14 pesos. Kasi ang value ng ating Y ay 14. So, yan po ang ating final answer. And then, number 3, find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12 and their difference is 2. So, ang target natin, hanapin yung dalawang numbers na kapag inad ay equals sa 12 at kapag nag-minus ay equals sa 2. So, pwede tayo mag-try and error dito. Pero using system of linear equation in two variables, mas magiging uh, tama yung ating sagot. So, ang solution natin. So, x the first number and let y the second number. So, two numbers if their sum is 12. So, gawin natin siyang equation. So, magiging x plus y equals 12. And then, two numbers if their difference is 2. So, gawin natin siyang equation. So, we have x minus y equals 2. 
Ayan. So, using elimination methods. So, pwede na natin eliminate si Y dito. Kasi, isa siyang positive at isa siyang negative. So, automatic equals na siya sa 0. So, cancel na natin siya. Ayan. Then, add the remaining. So, X plus X is equals to 2X. And 12 plus 2 is equals to 14. So, divide both sides by 2. Kasi, yun yung katabi ni X. Kailangan natin siyang tanggalin eh. So, i-cancel na natin. So, X is equals to 14 divided by 2. So, we have 7. And then, to find the value of Y, so, pili tayo dun sa ating dalawang equations. So, kahit ano naman dyan, same pa rin naman ang lalabas na sagot. So, ang aking ginamit ay X minus Y equals 2. So, palitan ko ng value si X na 7. Ayan. And then, lipat ko si 7 sa kabila. Or, pagbalik ta rin ko na lang si negative Y tsaka si 2. So, magiging 7 minus 2 equals Y. So, 7 minus 2 is equals to 5. Ayan. So, the value of Y is equals to 5. Ayan po. So, pag in natin yan, ay pag chinek natin yan, tama naman po yung ating sagot. So, Diba kanina, si X yung ating first number at si Y yung ating second number. So, ang value ng X natin ay 7. So, 7 is our first number. At ang value ng Y natin ay 5. So, 5 will be our second number. So, that will be our final answer. So, pag in natin, 7 plus 5 is equals to 12. And then, 7 minus 5 is equals to so, tama po yung ating sagot. So, ang dalawang number na hinahanap natin ay 7 tsaka 5. Ayan, kayo naman po. So, try it now. So, solve the following problem. So, JD and Daniel each improved their yards by planting hostas and geraniums. They both took supplies from the same store from the same store. So, JD spent 79 pesos on one hosta and 8 geraniums. Daniel spent 70 pesos on one hosta and 7 geraniums. Find the cost of one hosta and the cost of one geranium. So, kailangan yung hanapin yung cost ng isang hosta at isang geranium. So, pwede kayong gumamit na kahit na anong method. So, pwede yung uh, elimination or substitution. Or pwede nyo rin i-grab kung gusto nyo. So, ayan lang po. So, sana naintindihan nyo yung application ng system of linear equation in two variables sa ating problem. Yan. Application sa ating problem solving. So, ayan lang man po. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!